Hey everybody, welcome to the next episode of Nelly's Training Blog. As you can see, Nelly's getting quite a big girl now. She's she's cut up for five months old now. She's four months and about three weeks, something like that. Uh, and her back canines, as in her big teeth, are just, just starting to come through. So she's getting quite big now. And in this episode, what I want to do is, is a lot of my clients literally can't get the dogs to walk to, to heal properly. And the reason is because they're pulling or they've just been a pain. And... The reason is, is because, well, one of the big reasons is, is because the dog doesn't respect you. Now, to get the dog to respect you, you've got to teach the dog patience. Because you've got to make sure that you command the dog. Are we having a cuddle? Looks like we're having a cuddle, yeah. You, you've got to make sure that you can command the dog. So before it eats, you've got to make sure it sits and stays. Before you go out of the door, you've got to make sure it sits and stays. You've got to teach the dog manners. When you teach the dog manners, you then start to become an alpha leader. When you then become the alpha leader of the pack, that's then when your dog then starts to respect you and that's when it will start to walk to heal a lot better because it will take more notice of you. So I'm going to, in this episode, I'm going to show you lots of ways how you can start to become that pack leader so your little dog here, or big dog, whatever you've got, will start to learn to respect you too. Okay, in this video now, I'm going to get Nelly where I'm going to put some food, some kibble, just in front of her here and make sure that she doesn't come out of the kennel. It's really important. This is, this is how you teach manners. If you do it with food and with the kennel at the same time, that's really then getting command over your dog. You're really then getting, the dog will give you the eye, as in she'll look at you then, and she'll look at you then for permission of what to do. Let me show you what I mean. Nelly, stay. So... I'll get three or four pieces of kibble. Now you ah, ah. see, even sometimes Nelly's is wrong. In, you have to correct the dog. Stay. Put the kibble there. St ah, ah. Leave that. Stay. Now I'll stand over here and watch Nelly look at me now. now I'm obviously out, out of the camera view now. But what you want to do is you want to do this for at least a couple of minutes and build it up and build it up. To so start it for 10 seconds, then go to 20 seconds, then go to a minute. You know, just keep keep incrementing by like 20 seconds, something like that time. But at the moment, what we want to do with Nelly is on here. We want to do this for at least about a minute. I mean, I, I can get Nelly to stay here now for at least four or five minutes. And as she looks at me, what I want her to do is I want to constantly just say a name. Just say Nelly, and then say good girl. Nelly, good girl. Until I give her the correct command. Now, can you see? By looking at Nelly now, she's constantly focused on me. So she's she's looking at me now for permission of if she can have the food, if she can come out of the kennel. Really, really important. What I would do is once I get Nelly, good girl, once I get Nelly out of the kennel, and I let her have the food, I'll then put a lead on now. And I'll show you how I put the lead on. So, so I calm her down straight away. So once she's got the food, I calm her down, pop the lead on, pop her bum on the floor so she's nice and calm. Good girl. Again, can you see the constant eye then by looking at me all the time? Now, in a minute, I'll give her the command. Because I think this has at least been maybe a minute, maybe a minute and a half, something like that. So I'll, I'll just say the words and you'll, you'll watch it go for it now. Nelly, get out. Good girl. And then I'll get Nelly to come. Nelly, sit. As she sits, pop the lead on. And she's nice and calm. Another way to build manners into a dog is never let a dog go through a door before you. Always sit the dog down before, let the dog stay there for a few seconds, and then walk through the door together. Once you've opened the door, it's really, really important to make sure that that dog sits there and doesn't pull you through the door. You stay there for a few seconds and walk through together so everything's calm and everything's nice. There's always different ways, different opportunities where you can train. One of the ways I use for steadiness and keeping the dog nice and calm and making sure that they can learn the sit and the stay command is literally whilst you're in the kitchen and you're washing up and you're doing the drying up, you're doing the dishes, just literally get the dog to sit in its bed. Oh, by the way, looking at the bed, this is what happens when you let your, your wife go and choose a dog bed because she comes back with a pink one, <laughs> which I would never ever normally come back with. So uh, yeah, use use these little use these tips and tricks when you're washing up when you're doing the dishes and things just use this time to have your dog to sit still be good and give it that sit in the stay command okay everybody what we're going to do is i've had some people message me saying about their recall and not only the recall but also how they put something simple just putting the lead on the dog so i want to show you something what i do with recall and how i use my hands and the lead to incorporate recall at the same time so if this works for you it really works for me and really works well for me if this works for you please use it 
So the lead comes off now. What you do then is get your lead so it's like that. Get a tiny little piece of cable in your hands. Put your hand through the lead. Stay. And you recall her on. I'm doing it with the whistle now because now he's on the whistle now. And what you've got to do. So your hand goes down, you open, lead over, straight on, done. Nice and easy. So take the lead up. Stay. A little bit of kibble in your hand. Put your hand through the lead like this. Follow that. Nelly, come. When she's there, you put your hand down. You don't want the dog to move. Hand over. Lead on. Tighten up. Lots of fuss. Good girl. Good girl. And we're done. Nice and easy. Okay, so with our lovely little Nelly here this time, we're going to do some good recall. We're going to go over different surfaces and get her to sit a bum down on different surfaces while she waits for me. And I'll show you how what I'm doing now, how she's progressing. So not only is this working on recall, but it's also working on a stay as well. Now, as you can see, got Nelly sitting on this little square here. The reason I'm using this is because I know now if she moves, I know she's moved, moved one paw at all. So we're going to keep the lead on for this one. Stay. Now if we stay there, I'm just going to walk around a little bit. And what I'm going to do is, sometimes I will leave there. So if you look at Nelly now, Nelly's still sitting there. I'm walking around. Sometimes I'll leave Nelly, and sometimes I'll pick her and come back to me. This time, and I'll give her a treat this time because she's done well. Good girl, good girl. Then we'll walk around again, sit her back on there, and this time we'll call her back to us. Now we're here. Good girl. Good girl. We'll sit her back on this little square here. It's a bit like place board training. Stay. Stay. I'll walk away, I'll leave her a little bit and call her. So you watch out how enthusiastic she is when she comes back, if you watch Nelly. Again, a little bit of kibble again for her. Good girl. Good girl.